All right, so Junior and I picked up a new project. We're out here at the, uh, the guy's house fixing to see if we can load this dude up. Picked up another truck from a friend of mine and uh, he was telling us about this. It's a 46 Dodge Wrecker and he's telling us that the guy had a clear title to it. It's like, well, I'm interested with a clear title, especially on something that like old. Showed us a picture of it, it was pretty sweet. Uh, naturally, I mean, it's an old school wrecker. <laughs> Lots of big pipe on the back, still got the old PTO winch on it, all the cable, uh, snatch block. Only thing that uh, kind of sucks about it is they cut the rear of the bed sides and uh, so kind of ruined them. But get my truck here in position, we're gonna try to air the tires up and see if we can get this dude out of here real quick. So we'll show it to you here in just a minute. There it is. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Come out here and see if we can load this beast. What? Pretty cool. See how well six flat tires roll? Oh no, we're going. We're going to. There's not six. The inside dualies are gone. Oh, okay. Maybe we can throw six on there and say it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw any on there. <laughs> That's all you want. Yeah, see where they cut the bed. Looks kind of rough. Back of it back here is folded up, but other than that, the truck's pretty complete. What is that, like a Dana 30? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AMC 15. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's a uh, that's an AMC 25. That's AMC 20's bigger brother. Yeah. This thing is really cool. Glass registered 81. There's a carburetor for it. Yeah, that's about the right size. <laughs> rust in it isn't too bad it's got some down here which I mean to be expected with open holes and stuff and got holes in the roof this thing is just neat oh if it tries to run off just throw it in gear Maybe. Well, it might be the uh, the goes. tube trying to push the air out in between the tire and the tube. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a really cool little rig. How'd y'all open this hood? Flathead six. She's been sitting a minute. <laughs> Never a good sign when there's that much oil on the breather. All right. Is carburetor locked up? No. Sweet. It's either gonna go well or entertaining. We'll see which one. Yeah. Almost there, right there, and it's tight. She's rolling.
beauty moving. New job for Greta. We got her hooked up to the trailer. I'm gonna go deliver that. It's a 48 Dodge record. And it's got Newburn's garage on the door. We actually found the uh, Newburn family. Got in contact with them. A buddy of mine actually has a cousin that's married into the family. So we got in contact with them. They're interested in buying the truck back. So we're gonna go ahead and deliver this thing over there to them. Yeah, it sucks that they cut the back side of the bed off right there, but trucks in decent shape and it does have a title we got our air conditioning system going in Greta our Milwaukee 18 volt got uh, four blocks of dry ice and then three bags of 10 pound bags of ice we've only got like 60 miles to go with this thing the car pulls the weight just fine the trucks a little heavy but the trailer doesn't really like it so the tires are uh, walking on the sidewall whenever you get up over about 60 mile an hour so we backed it down to 55 we got the AC back there blowing cold it's actually comfortable in here as long as the sun ain't beating down through the windows but it's nice and comfortable well guys unfortunately I think Greta's towing trips are done for a minute coming up that hill right there it popped a couple times thought maybe we hit a bad pothole or something but there's no potholes on this road uh, or at least in this area and it popped a couple more times and then acted like it was uh, slipping real bad well, I think this thing busted the uh, collar in between the transmission and transfer case or either busted it or uh or cracked it or something stripped it out because it doesn't matter what i do uh put transfer case in low range it still does the same thing so look at me broke down over here no big deal uh, the guy that we were delivering the truck to talk to him he may have a trailer that uh, he can come get this thing with and I've got another buddy that can come get us. We'll put Greta up on the trailer, get her back home. Gary, I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. John Lake. Nice to meet you. Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Bring back some memories? Oh, I've done that though. Yeah. Sure does. Yeah. And the title's in the glove box of my car. So, <laughs> I'll get it back up here to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's been around a while. Yeah. I'll take 38? You want to? Uh, uh, 48. 48. Is it 48? Yeah, 48. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, was it 46? 46. Okay. Yeah, and I hate that they cut the bed off. We walked around there for a couple hours looking for the back part of the bed so we could, uh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Know. It looks like somebody didn't know how to run a winch truck here. Yeah, they folded yeah, the back of it up there. Up, didn't they? <laughs> yeah we had them all aired up whenever we loaded it the first time but then uh sitting over time this front one it uh yeah it lost the fight there i couldn't remember whether this was a separate you know and, uh, oh yeah two pieces yeah yeah they, it wasn't in one piece they cut it Got a picture out here in my truck. What's your plans with it? I'm gonna plan to restore it all the way. Yeah. At least y'all got that old picture where you can get the back rebuilt yeah. back out wood. Yeah, we looked and looked and that of course that place was pine needles everywhere, you know, pine trees and everything. So we were looking for the 
the sides of it. Sure would have been. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure would have been nice to get those too. Yeah. Yeah, a little, a little different. That's me and my wife and my little daughter. Yeah. She's 53 now, so. The daughter is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a couple years. <laughs> yeah, I lost my wife. She, you know, in, you know, in 18. So. Yeah. Know. Sorry to hear that. But uh, yeah, I used to take it over wrecker out to wreck. You know, my, my brother uh, dirt track. Mm hmm. And I'd I'd carry the wrecker out there and work the the race. Work the race yeah. and stuff. Yeah. 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 There you go. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm glad that uh, we was able to find its home. Well, I am too. Uh, are you friends with Justin? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've known Justin for actually, Corey and I both known yeah. Justin for a while. I've known Justin. I've known Woody probably thirty something years. I was the one that sold him that old green truck. The really? his Ford? Uh huh. Really? I drove that thing from '79 till Justin bought it. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine was getting him a new Lariat, and, uh, and he. Dave's going to allow him save, you know, $1,650 for it. And I said, shit, I'll buy it. <laughs> so I bought it, and then I sold it for Justin after driving it for years. Yeah. For $2,000 now. Oh, man, it's 20000 Oh, it's an easy $20,000 truck now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Justin, Justin won't part with it. No, no. ain't going to no. get it back. <laughs> nope. I helped him put the new motor and all that in. Yeah, yeah. I drove 390. Uh, that's, of course, all of those trucks with gas guns. Had three tanks on it. Had two saddle saddle tanks. Every time I go to deer lease, I'd have to fill all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had uh, we had big plans for it. We was gonna make it. Was gonna make a. I wanted to leave it as a wrecker, but we was gonna put a Cummins diesel in it, you know, and make uh -huh. it updated axles and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, Justin hit me up. Where'd that truck come from? I said, Well, it come out of Mineola. He said, man, my cousin married a Newburn. And uh, he said, I think I know where that truck belongs. <laughs> Is it for sale? I'm like, eh. We had plans for it, but I mean, if it's going back to the original family, that'll be the well, only I reason you, it'll be for yeah, sale. Yeah, Justin, Justin sent me a picture, and I've got it in my phone, or just the door. He says, Is this any of the family? And I said, it's my dad's. And he says, uh, and they told me he had a friend that had it. And says, uh, says I uh, at the same time he contacted me, he contacted Gary, and uh, I, you know, and of course Gary spoke for it. And I said, man, I'm glad he did. I, uh, you know, my age and everything and the cost, I couldn't handle it. You know? Right, but, right. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be a be a pretty big job, but the truck is still really solid. Yeah. There's no cancer in that truck. Yeah. That was within the floorboards, and that's flat sheet metal. So it's yeah. Easy. yeah, it's it's still really yeah, solid. Solid. There's... Yeah, I was telling them when we walked out. I said, you know, Dad drove this old truck. He, he's in Tyler one day, and the cop pulled him over because they had the red light. That's whenever they done away with the red lights on the records, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and what I blue and orange or whatever, I don't know what you know. Anyway, I told him, said, you got to get those red lights off. I think they're still up there. <laughs> 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 he didn't change. Yeah, the red ones are on the outside. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, told us you got to get those reds out. I don't remember if we ever tried to. If it was turning over, because I know we used the clutch to stop it. When we yeah, I don't know. I don't remember if we ever tried to turn it over or not. Yeah, that. One was a, a red truck. I deal brake free. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. John remembers it. I got married and, and had left home uh, when Dad had bought this thing and had it restored. Mm -hmm. It had a, had a bread delivery box on it. And he took it off and built that record. He sure enough built it. That sucker's solid. Well, John can tell you some stories about that old truck. And so you, you worked the truck? He was a Tyler fireman. And okay. I, he, he was on the ship. You know, he worked for Dad off um, in between ships. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, that old sucker pulled a D6 caterpillar out of the place. He couldn't hardly see the caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was telling him, I saw the, I saw the, tr uh, the cat there, bulldozer buried out there. And I said, man, they ain't gonna get that thing out. And I didn't realize his dad and John got it out. We put some marks on them trees down there where we hadn't anchored down. <laughs> 
Yeah, he would. Uh... That sucker is heavy. I will say that. Yeah, he he would go out and uh, and John tells the stories about it. That people see an old truck come out there, you know, I didn't go pull this out. <laughs> Who, we was talking to somebody the other day. Was it me and you? Talking about they would uh, hook a wrecker to it, run the cable out until the front end of the wrecker was about six, eight foot off the ground, and then just wait. <laughs> then the suction would break, and it, as soon as the old truck would start back down, they'd go over and start running the winch. He said, but it, that truck may sit up on its back bumper for 30 minutes. Yeah. Once the suction broke, they'd drag her out. The tractor up there, up there, Clint. Sandy wet sand mm -hmm. that was sucked in, you know. Yeah. And uh, he wanted me to pull it out, and, and uh, when I hooked it, and it didn't move that sand, had it sucked. I said, uh, if you want me to keep pulling, I will, but it's going to bring your tractor too. <laughs> well, better way to dry it up a little bit. I said, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Because it'll pull it in two. You remember how big that winch is? I don't remember what poundage it is, uh, but it's a stout. Oh yeah. Boy, he he put him a snatch block on it, hooked it to a tree. He he could pull anything with it. Yeah. Does so it look like anything else was added after your dad built it? No, I don't think so. Everything. Everything looked the same. Same. Yeah. He built those gin poles. He, he definitely more. built it stout. Yeah. That was back when iron was iron. Yeah. <clears throat> The winch, the winch still on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's still on. Man, that's a heavy duty. Yeah, somebody rolled up the back end on it. Yeah, they? yeah, they did something wrong. Yeah. And the guy that we got it from, they had actually bought these tires for it, and then they stuck them out back, up, leaned up against the tree. So the tires aren't any good; they're all dry rotted. But. Mm -hmm. Like, well, anything that goes with the truck, let's I go ahead and take it too. Right yeah, the other two wheels are inside the in that pile there. Yeah, yeah it does roll free, and uh, the clutch does work. It go, it'll go in the gear. That's how we stopped it. Yeah. We had to drag it around, load it up on the trailer. So I drove it. And I just put it in gear and put pushed in on the clutch. We needed to stop. Just ease out on the clutch, and mm -hmm. it would stop us. So. I can't remember if the tire, if the motor would turn over one. Yeah, I don't remember if we checked that or not. No. No, it was a deal. We uh, we found the truck, bought it, or found the truck, then found Gary, found the family, and then so we went and got it loaded up and carried it home, and we hadn't touched it. Mm -hmm. So we knew it was coming back home, so we wasn't going to mess with it. Well, I appreciate you guys contacting Gary and, and, uh, and Justin. I'm glad that well. I'm glad that Justin saw it and contacted me about it. Yeah, that's why y'all getting it. <laughs> yeah, because we we had plans for it. Yeah, we had plans for it, and it was uh, it was kind of one of those deals, man. This is one that we hate to let go, but yeah. it's for a good reason, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, we was thinking Cummins semi twenty two fives, but still in this. You know, look like this, mm -hmm. but do updated axle and then some semi 22 fives and a Cummins with a five speed or six speed. Get the old <laughs> winch working and everything. Yeah, I tell you, that looks, you know, I'm, my age, I couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't handle it, but I'm good as a young one. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no winch cable, sir. Huh? We didn't winch it. We pulled it up on there with a chain last night. I think the motor's been over. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, it knocked them off the clutch and it never stopped. Just like it. She's back on the trailer. I'm glad this isn't the norm for this car, but you know, wouldn't you know it a store-bought piece is what failed on me this time. But 
Anyway, we're headed back home. Poor old Greta. So we're home. There's the other rescue pig. Mm -hmm. Not Brim, the truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> so we just had Bryn meet us up there in Tyler to grab the trailer instead of having my buddy Corey drag us all the way back out here to Glade Water and then go back home to Tyler. Uh, on the way in, we get to Glade Water, which is about uh, in the town. So we're about five minutes from the house. Lost the rear trailer tire. Ah, screw it. We'll just drive it on in. We get in the long driveway there front trailer tire blows out pretty eventful trip on this one not real sure what we're going to do about Greta's transmission but we're going to get it tore apart and figure out exactly what happened I do think it was that coupler but we'll see once we get the transfer case and stuff out of it I need to put a uh, synchronizers in the transmission anyway so it needs to come out anyway that's going to do it for this one appreciate y'all following along thanks for subscribing thanks for watching see y'all in the next one